All right. All right. Let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Not about Welcome to the third episode of Tech Talk, the gaming edition. I'm your one host, Corey. This is the other half of the Livia, the gaming part. Wow. I'm his younger, better, awesome looking brother. This episode, we are going to go over Sony's no show at E3, which is a big deal, and we will go over the competing company, debatable, micro. Microsoft and their woes and how can they possibly take over E3 this year with obviously the bigger company not being there. Your company. My awesome company. They are, okay, they're good. They're good. I'm going to give you that. They're, your company is good. I like them. I mean, my company looks stupid, but I like them. So how do you feel that they're not showing up at E3 this year? Um, I'm okay with it. Seeing as last year during E3, and then during their Japan show, they pretty much already showed everything. The only thing they would have to show again this year would be release dates and probably other game trailers for mm -hmm. the same things we saw last year. Now, if they weren't coming with any new trailers, let's say for, I guess like The Last of Us Part Two mm -hmm. or um, Death Stranding, Ghost of Tsushima and whatever else they have to offer, then there's no point. Mm -hmm. Um, I know most people are banking on at least one of those two games coming before the end of next year for like holiday and then I would say at least the other two would come around the release date for the PlayStation 5 and that's probably the reason why they're not attending E3 because they're waiting let's say for PSX um, if they do it December that would be um, the time to show the rest of the games and the release day unless they do it in Japan. How do you feel that, do you think that people will show up to E3 less now because Sony's not there? No. Or do you think people will just show up regardless? People will show up regardless because there's still other <coughs> games and mm -hmm. other companies that they support and love. Mm -hmm. um, I.e. let's say Microsoft usually starts on, <laughs> I think Microsoft usually normally goes first. Um, I know we talk about that a lot. Wow. Um, then they still have like Hopefully they have another trailer for uh, Halo Infinite, not just the, I guess the graphic trailer they showed last year, and maybe um, a CGI trailer or actual game trailer, just to show something. I don't expect it this year. I expect Halo maybe the spring of next year, summer-ish, or it'll come out the holiday. I expect Gears, of course, to come out. Microsoft has this um, three game rotation going on all the time. And it's Forza, Halo, Gears, and games. Forza's garbage. There's no well, reason they for- They make sales off of it, and because it does good every time they bring it out, why would they stop? Microsoft, I'm gonna transition over to your company. My company, who has been allowing me to receive several L's over the past three years? Three, yes, three. I guess three, where we kind of started say going same. downhill. Sony kicked off their own game rotation that they had going on. So here's my issue with my company. I know we've discussed this off camera several times. My issue with them is that they don't have staple games. They stick to Gears. They stick to Halo and Forza. The racing game, I'm not gonna even Forza. give it a name. Forza. They stick to these games and they bank on them. So it's one year is Halo, one year is Forza, one year is Gears. Then the rotation starts all over again. Each year, it gives them enough time to develop the sequel. My issue with that is that they're not giving us storytelling games. They're not giving us, they gave us Cuphead. That was pretty popular, so. Hey, it's okay. No, I get it's popular. I feel like they could have put more emphasis into more storytelling games, like Sony. You guys have great storytelling games. It keeps you occupied, it keeps you invested. You get most invested with the character, even though the character is just a video game animation character, keeps you invested. Studio, I can't remember the studio's name, but they, re they not recently, but they made, um, I think it's called Susuno Sacrifice, it's actually mm -hmm. a pretty popular game. Yes, yes. So they have the companies to make a story-driven game, mm -hmm. and hopefully, <laughs> at E3 or 
one of their random Xbox conferences yeah. they want to do, they can show off one of them. Xbox event in Mexico, I think it was that I was that I watched that I, I told you about. Yeah, they acquired. I think they showed up the last. I don't know if it was the last, but they showed off like two or three more mm -hmm. while they were there. So I think it's. I want to say the twelve or thirteen. I think in total. Now I think now they have no excuse. No. Like if next year they just show me Halo or eh, Halo, it will be Halo Gears. Gears yeah. Halo Gears just show maybe another teaser for Halo. No one them would be like a TV adaptation. It probably wouldn't be a game. And probably Gears. Mm -hmm. If that's it, if they're showing like worldwide exclusives, but it's exclusive that we already know are going to Sony and everywhere else, and they're not showing any games for those companies that they purchased, to me, I feel like that's a waste. Just have the show, mm -hmm. do the show. Because usually when they, they come out first, yeah. and we always make the joke, Sony just lets them come out first to do what you're gonna do, and then they're like, okay, that was cute. <laughs> now, thank you for showing the games that we all have. Now we're gonna show you the 12 or 13 games that we only have. I don't feel like Microsoft does that. Like they, their worldwide exclusive is just to show it's games. It's not really that's, an exclusive if it's also it's a, a playable on PC. Yes, but the trailer say, oh, worldwide exclusive, which is you know gets my hopes up when I first see it. I'm like, oh yes, finally got something new. It's not, new. it's not new at all. Like keep building these consoles, but they don't have games to really match the console. Yeah. PlayStation has that ability to say, hey, we're gonna build this new console, super powered, 5K, whatever they want to put in it. <laughs> yes. Well, no, um, the Pro plays 4K. I know, but you just get, like, you went like yes. 4, it's gonna go to 5. Yes, might as well, 5K, because we have the games to develop that. I'm not trying to play Cuphead on a 5K thing. It's, I'm, I am not gonna, I'm not gonna try it. No, I'm not convinced. Nope, I'm, 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 I, I, nope. I'm not gonna play it. Who? You, and me. Me and who? You. Don't just give me racing games where it's just like, okay, give me a new car and I rip my circles. Like, that on, they never made a split second too. Right, thank you, thank, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Come out with, and then people are expecting a sequel, another version, they cancel it. Let's say they're supposed to come out with a Fable, yes. a Fable game, they cancel that. Um, I know <laughs> you're so pissed off. Um, Scalebound? Scalebound, everyone was looking forward that to that. That was like, they what was that, that, two years ago? That was the beginning of the end because I know when they announced they they pushed it back. Yes. And then like I think a couple weeks later it was like they breaking news they canceled Scalebound. I'm mm -hmm. just like, that's that was nice. the one game with them in a long time I was actually genuinely excited to play because it reminded me and I know it's not like it but it reminded me of um, Legend of Dragoon okay. in a way. That's why I saw it. I'm like, okay, I know it's not exactly like it but it looks really good. Yeah. In Jan yes. At the end of January you have. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, and that's which gonna is going to shatter everything. Yeah, in February yeah. you have um, Jump Force, you have Anthem, you have, um, what was the game? Met the new Metro. Yeah. Met yeah, Metro, forgot the full title. Mm -hmm. And then I think there's something else coming around that time too. So you have a bunch of games in February and Sony pulled days going out and moved it to March. Because it's smart. To be honest, Jump Force is going to be a great game. Mm -hmm for a long period of time, I feel like. As long as they keep updating it and bringing in new characters, I feel like it's gonna be great. But Days Gone is just, like, there's tears here. Yeah. There's tears. Anthem, Anthem when I saw how customizable mm -hmm. everything's gonna be, that's when I was like, well, okay. Anthem's gonna ride or die on, I think, the in-game content. The need to sustain your players. They have so, to do it like um, Destiny. Well, not two, first one. Oh, <laughs> we're not gonna bring up two. We're gonna look at the first one. To done with that, you have online play, you have pretty sure you have different quests and missions yeah. and stuff you can do with your friends. Yeah. <clears throat> then you have, don't call for my camera. Campaign's done. <laughs> okay. One Piece, your game. Great, right, sir. How do you feel so far mm -hmm. with everything you've seen, trailers, little news leaks here or there, how do you feel so far about it? 50-50. Okay. I mean, it looks nice. Information they showed in the last trailer. It should have a time limit on it. Hopefully, should should. I think I don't want to go through majority of it, and if I could just, I mean, it'll be fun to use. It's like it. a cheat code. After it a could while. be. Yes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have like a damage cap, like every game does. But I think it should um have a certain time limit where you can use before you can't use it anymore. Bridge, I don't think this game's gonna be too challenging. It looks fun though. Mm -hmm. um, they have, like, uh, not an open world aspect, I know it's open world, but they have a 
a boss mechanic where you can ran. I think it's like said you can randomly like run into other people, like yes. other bosses from the story. Mm -hmm. So that would be fun. Longer than usual. I'd like to thank my younger brother, the other half of all of this. <laughs> Next week. He will be back. We will be covering the Game Awards, which is next Thursday? Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Hopefully he will be off. We will watch it together. We will go over the nominees. We will go over who should win, who possibly won't win, and other little fun stuff. All right. Till next time. We'll do it. <laughs> 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 Peace.